All right, guys, so we're back here at Disneyland, and it has been a little while since I've been here. I'm sorry about that, guys, but the last time I was planning on coming for uh, to shoot a Star Wars Land construction update was last Sunday, and it was raining, so I didn't think it would be very good for me to be getting wet out here in the rain, and there wouldn't be much going on anyway. Well, unfortunately, today, there's not a lot going on here either. Um, it looks like there is no construction going on because, well, it's the day after Thanksgiving, and so um, not all, the, all the construction workers are off right now, but um, I'm going to show you the progress that we see anyway without any of the construction, and we'll show you what's happening and what's going on out here and all the different things that are going on. First, I'd like to show you there's um, um, right by the sidewalk down there, you can see there's a sidewalk right there. I think there's some people going to be walking by here in a second, but um, look at those holes down at the very bottom of your screen right there. Um, you see that? Now maybe that's for some more, it looks like some more underground work. Um, I heard those are called vaults or something like that for electrical work and transformers and different things. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, that's just what I heard. Um, but it's something new that's happening right now. And if I go up a little bit over here, well there's our big giant hole that we keep, uh, we know, if, I mean we're pretty sure, pretty confident that this is the show building for uh, the escape ride, stormtrooper or something, or battle escape. Um, you know, I don't know the exact name of it yet, but um, it's going to be the biggest show building in all of Disneyland, it looks like. And, it, it, you know, they're, they're working on the walls still. They have, um, they're adding some more support, it looks like, to the walls in there. Um, still don't know if this hole out here is permanent or not, or if it's going to be temporary. But um, right now, it definitely looks like it's an access point for people to get down into the basement of this big ride over here. Now we've always talked about these boxes over here and we thought that they were permanent and it definitely looks like they are permanent. It definitely looks like now they've been cemented. It looks like the forms have been removed. It looks like it is uh, for sure something that is going to be part of the building, the structure, maybe part of the attraction. Uh, people have sa suggested elevator shafts uh, because we have heard this ride is going to be multi-level and use elevators and different things to get people up or ride vehicles up to different levels, to different scenes, um, which I think is totally cool. It'll be something totally new for us here at Disneyland, which is awesome. I want to show you one more thing down here below. So right here, we last week we had seen, or about 10 days ago, we had seen the uh, troughs right here. And, you know, we got some good explanation as for cleaning tools, dumping out extra excess cement out of the trucks. Uh, but look right behind it. There's a little wall right there. Um, is that wall going to be in interior on the show building or is that the beginning of a bigger structure that's going to be on the exterior of the show building? Um, I just don't know. So someone out there with the vast knowledge that you guys have on construction and different things, give me a, give me a shout out. Let me know what, uh, what you think that little wall is. Um, obviously, I don't think it can be an exterior wall completely because it's, it's kind of thin and small, but is it the beginning of when they construct the exterior wall? Will, will that go up against that or on that? And raise up really high because I mean if I think about it this show building has got to be you know four or five stories high uh, maybe even taller than that but it's going to be massive and then right right below that we still see that uh, trough or that hole dug kind of like a little pathway uh, which we think will be probably either for uh, underground wiring and piping um, there is some stuff right next to it over there but um, you're not really 100% sure but now that we got the, uh, that out of the way, let's start going from left to right and we'll see uh, what new or what different things have changed. Okay, so the uh, big dirt mound, well, I don't want to say big anymore because it, it's definitely not a big dirt mound anymore. It's, it's leveled off. It's gotten a lot smaller. I mean, you can see the whole building right there that we've been talking about for a while that they've been constructing, which we believe is, again, is going to be like a maintenance vehicle or a vehicle, a maintenance building or a building to repair ride vehicles or something. You know, we don't know for sure, but um, definitely a permanent structure. But you could really see a lot of it. So they're using a lot of this dirt to fill in different areas to build up. I mean, if we look over here, I'm going to keep scrolling to the right here. Look at that, that dirt mound has been built up. I mean, they're grading it. It looks like definitely that is gonna be, you know, some landscaping, maybe some theming. Um, you know, we really don't know for sure, but it, it definitely looks like they're building that area up. You know, like when you're in Disneyland and you see you're in a certain land, you really can't see other lands. I mean, yeah, every once in a while you see the Matterhorn because it's so tall, 
Sometimes when you're in Frontierland, you can see Space Mountain if you look at the right angle from the uh, Mark Twain, but, and that's if you're on the top floor. But really, Big Thunder, it backs right up to Fantasyland, and, and you have no idea that it's right there when you're in that land. So the same thing goes for Star Wars Land. You know, they're going to build berms, and they're going to build, um, put trees and walls and different things and decorations, so that way you have no idea that right behind you is the Mickey and the Magical Map show. I mean, if I, if I scroll up here, you can see there's the top of the Mickey and Magical Map. Um, the theater right there, Fantasyland Theater, you know, you can't see that when you're in Star Wars Land. That would ruin the experience. So they're going to completely, you know, build that up right there with dirt and trees and stuff. So you're not going to be able to see that. But that definitely answers one question. The train has to be going on the other side of that wall with the black tarping on it. The train definitely now for sure has to be on the other side of that. There's no way it's going to be traveling between these two walls, the, um, the support wall and the um, sound barrier wall over there. It, it's got to be on the other side. There's no way it's going to be traveling along that graded area right there. Now as we go over here, you can see the Fantasyland entrance still there, um, looking good. But um, not a lot being done there. Some dirt's maybe been moved, uh, raised up a little bit behind it. Um, I can see, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I can see that there's added some rock work to uh, the other side of the Fantasyland entrance right there, which you can definitely see, which is really cool. Um, but not much going on with the Fantasyland uh, side entrance happening right now. Now if we scroll over here, I'm going to try not to scroll too much because I don't want you to see the surprise that I have going on over. You might have caught it earlier in the video when you... Um, when I was bringing in the intro and stuff, but you can see the Fantasmic storage, uh, the second floor still being worked on, not a lot uh, has changed there. You know, like I said, no construction workers today, so I can't see anything that they're doing, but uh, not a lot has changed there. But check this out, guys. Right there, what is that? That is a bridge. Look at the train bridges there. There is a bridge for the train. So we definitely know the path of the train on that side right now. You can see there's some trestles there. Uh, they're painted white. Who knows if they're going to be painted a different color, but you can see the white trestles right there, which is really cool. We now know for sure the train is going to be on this side of the rock work and not on the other side um, of this right here. Sometimes we were thinking right in the shot center of your screen there that the train was going to go around that on the right side, but now we know for sure it's going to be on the left side because you can see the bridge has been formed. Totally awesome. So I moved over for my uh, next shot because yeah, I wanted to show you guys be able to pan over all the way to the Hungry Bear and stuff, but I, I'm so stoked about that bridge right there. It, it really shows the train is going in that direction, which is totally cool. I'm excited, guys. Sorry if I'm losing my train of thought here. Got a little excitement going on. Caught the trestles there. That is freaking awesome. Okay, now as we scroll over to the other side here, you can see uh, not a lot of work being... Well, there is a lot of work. There's a new uh, wall like connected both walls together right there you can see in the middle there's some metal grate work on top of that um, so you can see that they've connected the wall completely there something very interesting on what we thought was going to be where the train was passing through between this wall and the other wall there I know you can see the little two green things right there in the middle thought the train was passing through the middle of that um, it, I don't think it is anymore. I think it's definitely passing on the other side of those walls. Now that might be the middle of some mountain ranges or something like that or an access way between the Rivers of America and Star Wars Land now between those two walls. That's what I'm thinking. Let me lower this just a little bit. I mean, because if you look at where the train's coming out there, there's solid wall all the way through. It's definitely going to be passing. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be passing on the other side of that second wall right there. You can see the end of the second wall right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to come out of the Hungry Bear and it's going to pass on the other side of that where we can't see all sorts of work. I mean, I can see some bars on the top right there, but um, I don't know for sure what's going on there, but I, I, I wish I could see. I, maybe I need to get into the parks and look on from the other side. Um, I don't have time today, today to do that, but... Um, on another day for sure, I, I need to get in there and, and see if I can see anything. I wish there would be a new satellite image so we could really see what's going on. Because um, you could now, you can definitely see the Rivers of America taking shape. Um, you can see what's going on. You can see the path that the train is going to be taking. 
Um, really excited about that. Um, I'm going to scroll back over here to the Hungry Bear restaurant there. See if we can see anything that's happening right now. I, You know, it looks about the same. Besides them extending that second wall out, um, I'm not sure that anything else has really changed. Um, you know, it looks like they've maybe to the right on the right side of the screen they flatten some of the land where you can barely see it where the trains coming through because uh, they had to reroute that train just a little bit to make a curve there but how cool is this I mean what just totally changes the the train ride around the rivers of America through Star Wars land not through Star Wars land but around the front of it um, I am so excited for this summertime when this opens up this is gonna be huge I mean I don't care if I have to wait in a two-hour line to get on the train that's what's going to happen, but um, we're going to do it for sure. So, like I said before, there's not a lot of no construction workers out here today. Nothing really uh, happening as far as construction, but a lot of changes since the last time I've been out here. It's been 10 days, and wow, what a difference 10, 10 days makes. Unfortunately, guys, I'm not going to do any time lapse this uh, week because there's no construction equipment moving. The only purpose for the time lapse is so you can see all the construction guys working and the equipment moving and the different things happening. Well, there's nothing going on out there today, so no time lapse. It'll be a shorter video today. But I appreciate you guys coming back and watching this video. Um, like I said, I do a video. I try to get out here every single week. I know it's been 10 days, a little over a week, but the rain kind of delayed me last time. So I'm really excited about uh, all the changes that are happening. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment, you guys. I love all the comments that I'm getting. I'm learning so much about construction and the different things that are happening out here. So leave a comment below. Um, like I said, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of other Disney adventures. Or if you're only interested in the Star Wars Land adventures, I do put them in a separate playlist. And just watch the Star Wars Land ones. But we do come to Disneyland about every week, and we do some filming and record different things that are happening on. Last week, you'll see a lot of the Festival of Holidays activities that were happening in DCA. But uh, subscribe to us, and we'll catch you next week.